Our guns, more than two-thirds of Roger Crawl's stock, are AR-15 style weapons and parts. So who buys them? Joe truck driver, it could be a, a judge, uh, politicians, it can be, um, uh, you know, hairy homeowner. Um, it's, it's literally, it's a gun for everybody. The best-selling rifle in the U.S. is popular in part because it's powerful, has minimal kickback, and it's extremely customizable. Uh, standard barrel, heavy barrel, and variations thereof. You can go with a quad rail handguard. This weapon of war, now made for the public, has also become the most divisive gun in America. In Congress, Republicans wear its distinctive outline on their lapels. Many Democrats want it outlawed. So you see this beautiful gun? And American gun buyers can't get enough of it. There are 20 million in the U.S. It has also become the gun of choice for mass shooters in America. It does shoot, I promise. It fires three times as fast and as far as a typical handgun and leaves massive wounds that make it far more lethal. You're going to do so much more damage. I think that most people um, who are not familiar with uh, being at the scene of those kinds of uh, shootings, most people would be shocked at how one rifle round can tear a person's face off or tear their body apart. A national ban on new sales of assault weapons passed in 1994 and expired in 2004. Polls show most Americans favor stricter gun laws, but there is a rural and urban divide. Here in small town and rural America, more people favor the most popular rifle in America. Several states in the District of Columbia have outlawed AR-15 style weapons. In January, Illinois became the latest, leaving Roger Crawl with a store full of guns he can't sell in his own state. People are pissed that they can't come in and buy the stuff that they want to buy. And you know what? It's America. You know, you can should be able to do whatever you want to do as long as you don't affect somebody else. Whether the AR-15 affects others enough to ban it is a question likely to continue to divide Americans for some time. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Carpentersville, Illinois.